Hey everybody, it's Craig Vector here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to change colors in Capture One. All right, let's get started. All right, so let's move over here to Capture One, and you can see here we've got a purple dress. Now, this is a raw image. This was shot on the Canon 5D Mark III with the 135 f2 lens. Now, let's look at our color editor. So, go to this tab at the top. If you look at the top of your Capture One, if you look four over, you see there's like three circles. If you click there, you can see we have a number of things. We have layers white balance, normalize, and to open these, you just click and they get expanded. So just look for your color editor. It might look like that. Just click on that and you'll see it. And you have three tabs. You have basic, you have advanced, and you have skin tone. So the one we're going to work on today is advanced. And if you click on the advanced tab, you'll see right here, there's sort of a orange color picker. What you want to do is click on that and then sample the color in your image that you want to change. So for example, we click there. Now you can see a selected color range. Now there's a number of things we can do. If we wanted to, we could expand that color range by dragging left or right. Now also we have some control sliders. So you see we have smoothness at the top. Now if you look at the sides there, you could see there's a little bit of color going beyond that range. So if we wanted to restrain that and be more restrictive of the colors that we want to alter, we would take the smoothness slider and we would go to the left. You could see that now all the colors restrain to that box. So you may get a bit of a harder edge that way. So what we'll do is maybe we'll give it about maybe just a little bit around four. Now, if we want to change the color of the dress, we adjust the hue slider. So I'm going to do that right now. And now you can see how the color of the dress went from a purple to a blue. Now, if you want to look at the before and after, if you hold down the option key, I believe it's the alt key on the PC, look for this backwards kind of arrow here. You click on that, you can see the before and after. So if I click, it was purple, and now we have a blue dress. So it was that easy. Now also what we can do is we can also adjust the lightness of that or the saturation of that. Now also what we can do too is we can create a separate layer and then all the controls that you can find in Capture One, you can also do with that as well. So we're on the advanced tab, we're gonna select that. We'll just click on the blue dress now, which is kind of purple. <laughs> And then what we can do here is if we come up to here, we can click here and say, create mask layer from selection. Now that's gonna create a masked layer for us. And if we hit the M key, we can see that mask a little bit better. So you can see that it's done a pretty good job of that. If you wanted to, you could go in and refine that a little bit. But when you have a mask like that, you can see we have a new layer here. That means we can adjust it with any of the features here in Capture One from exposure, contrast, brightness, saturation. We can adjust the clarity. So that's just another way to use the color selector to create a mask for you. So we'll just go back right here. So again, all you have to do is go to the advanced tab, click here on the color picker, click on the color that you want to change, and then you can adjust the smoothness of that color. You can adjust the hue of that color, and then you can adjust the saturation. If you want to bring in more saturation or less saturation of that color. Also, you can adjust the lightness or darkness of that color. So you can really manipulate colors quite well in Capture One. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Also, if you're not already a Capture One user, you can save 10% off. I'll put a coupon code below. Just look below this video in the description box. There'll be a coupon code to save 10% off Capture One. All right, thanks for watching this video. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit that like button, and share this video on the web. And if you have any comments or questions, just post them in the comment box below this video. All right, thanks for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one.